is here. Uh, let's see. Uh, Mark Taylor Canfield. Hey, Mark, what's on your mind today in Seattle? Hey, Tom. Hi, I have a brief report on what I think might be one of the most censored or at least unreported stories in the country. And that's the fact that the United States is currently ranked 42nd in, world, in terms 42nd. of world press freedom on the World Press Freedom Index by Reporters Without Borders. And the U.S. ranking has been slipping steadily since 2002 when we were ranked 17th. Uh, but no U.S. media will report on this, and members of our Congress don't even know that the World Press Freedom Index e exists. Luckily, I got a chance to brief Congresswoman Pramila Jayapal and her staff this week about this. But World Good. Press Freedom Day is coming up on May 3rd, mm -hmm. as declared by the United Nations. And, and I'm registered for a conference on that day where U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken is going to be the keynote speaker and where the new press freedom rankings will be announced. So I can talk about that more in a minute, but... I doubt that he will even address our declining ranking, unfortunately. Three of our co-hosts on the Summit for Democracy had higher rankings on the World Press Freedom Index in the United States. And as Executive Director for Democracy Watch News, I'm not proud of that ranking. I just participated in an international conference at The Hague in the Netherlands on media viability as part of that Summit for Democracy, um, so those sessions. And that was sponsored by UNESCO and the Global Fund for Media Development. Mm -hmm. So I presented information during that conference on the loss of press freedom in the U.S. And it's very ironic to me that I get much more responsive audiences from international delegations than from anyone in the U.S., Right. So I even testified before the FCC on the need to limit media market monopolies, because that's one of the reasons why our rankings dropping. And I held in my hands the documents which proved the negative effects of corporate media ownership consolidation in the U.S. But the commissioners claimed they had no knowledge of their own reports that they themselves had commissioned. Right. It was a huge scandal. So the professors I interviewed for my Pacifica Radio Network report told me they'd never accept commissions for research from the FCC again because their findings had been suppressed. Wow. So I interviewed professors Philip Napoli and Danilo Janich, and two of the academic institutions involved were the University of Michigan and the University of Delaware. Mm. The research, Tom, showed that corporate media monopolies result in less local news coverage, reduces POC and female ownership of the media. Right. So that's what they were suppressing. And, you know, we were just talking about Barbara Boxer. I think she actually got on that after I did my report and tried to um, get that information. But World Press Freedom Day is on May 3rd. There's going to be major uh, conferences at the U.N. headquarters in we'll New York City. It. We'll be on it, Mark. Mark, thank you for the yeah, report. Look, it's, it's a good one. And keep up the great work. I, you, you, are doing, you are doing every day uh, better and better work. I, I, I do appreciate your calling in with the report.